is going on, guys? I hope you're having a great start to the week. And I wanted to make this video to touch on something I neglected to cover in my original post-fight video. Now, in my defense, I recorded that one at 3 o'clock in the morning, so I didn't get in everything that I wanted to discuss. But the reality is this. Devin Haney in his fight with Ryan Garcia was the beneficiary of significant, significant favoritism from both the referee, the judges, at least one of the judges, and also from the commentary team on DAZN as well. You see, it felt like Ryan Garcia actually had everybody against him in this fight. Now, a lot of this situation wasn't even unique to this particular performance. You see, if you look back further in Devin Haney's career, going back, for example, nearly a year ago to the Lomachenko fight, the same thing happened. Lomachenko won that fight still, in my opinion, but the referee allowed Devin Haney to get away with a substantial amount of holding, and voila, the same thing happened on Saturday against Ryan Garcia. Devin Haney was allowed to hold to an excessive degree. Ryan Garcia... Well, he got penalized as soon as the referee did something, or rather, as soon as he did something that the referee didn't like, he wasn't even warned. Straight in with the points deduction, and it turned around that Ryan Garcia actually scored a knockdown in into one in which suddenly Devin Haney was handed a lifeline with that points deduction. And the reality of all this situation, though, is Devin Haney's weaknesses as a fighter were brutally exposed here because of the fact that he needed all of this help, and he got it, and he still couldn't get the job done. And worse than that, Devin Haney was actually doing all of this against a guy that he'd faced in the amateurs six times. Not once, not twice, six times. And he still couldn't adapt his tactics. And his father, Bill Haney, is culpable here as well because he also was sitting in the corner and they couldn't collectively come up with a game plan to deal with the speed, the power, the left hook, all of the things that Ryan Garcia was throwing at them despite the fact that Ryan seemingly had less than optimal preparation for this fight in his camp, and Devin Haney seemingly was in good shape. Now, there's an argument that some people have raised, including Showbiz and including a few others, that Devin was actually weight-drained in this fight. He may have been. That is a possibility, but the reality is he still had tremendous amount of assistance from the referee who continued to allow him to hold, who continued to allow him to get up from potential knockdowns without them being scored knockdowns, who allowed Devin Haney to continue beyond the seventh round when realistically another official might have stopped the fight. And by all accounts, referee Harvey Dock, by the way, is one of the top officials in the sport. So I don't think it was a case of him just being incompetent. I think that he perhaps had a bad night tonight or perhaps because of the way Ryan Garcia behaved, he was subconsciously influenced to rule the fight against him. Whatever way you want to look at it, Devin Haney should have been stopped sooner than he was. He wasn't. And Ryan Garcia, once he actually made it to the scorecards, nearly got robbed of this fight by the judges. And it's not the first time that that has happened in a Devin Haney fight. Lomachenko also, in my opinion, it wasn't an enormous robbery, but Lomachenko beat Devin Haney. The judges awarded the fight to Haney. And guess what? Afterwards, Devin Haney and his father, they didn't want to grant Lomachenko the rematch, but now they want the rematch with Ryan Garcia. And it's... I believe it was Showbiz pointed out, you don't see a fighter with a face marked up like that saying, well, it was a close fight, I deserve a rematch, while his opponent is pretty much spotless and looks great. The reality is this was a one-sided beatdown, and the only reason why the fight felt close was because, like I say, the referee allowed Devin Haney to get in there and hold as much as he wanted. And the truth is, I wanted Devin Haney to win this fight. I found Ryan's behavior to be tasteless. I didn't really like it. But guess what? Watching the fight... I was extremely frustrated by Ryan, or rather by Devin's inability to adapt. But the reality is this. If you're going to make the comparison between Devin Haney and Floyd Mayweather, which I personally never thought was even remotely plausible, but some people made that comparison, felt that it was something which actually merited discussion. But the reality is if Floyd Mayweather was in there, got rocked in round number one with the left hook, found that his holding and his jabbing was being ineffective, you can be sure he would have gone back to his corner and him and his father or his uncle Roger Mayweather would have come up with a game plan that was able to at least, at the very minimum, do something different. But Devin Haney couldn't adapt. They couldn't do anything other than what they'd been doing throughout this fight and pretty much all of their other fights. And so I think the other thing, in addition to Ryan Garcia having a really good performance here, it does call into question how good is Devin Haney really 
in terms of his previous record because he beat Regis Progre in a fight that I expected him to dominate because it was an enormous stylistic mismatch. He did what he was expected to do, what I expected him to do. But prior to that, he lost to Lomachenko. So realistically, I think he's lost two out of his last three fights. And then prior to that, Best wins are against George Cambosis twice, a limited fighter who, respectfully, only has that one win against Teofimo Lopez to hang his hat on. So George Cambosis is not the greatest champion at this weight class. He never has been, but that's basically where Devin Haney made his name. Those two wins, and then the robbery, or at least the decision, which I don't feel he should have got against Lomachenko, followed by a mismatch, or at the very least, a dominant performance against an opponent who really was, in my opinion, overrated by a lot of people in Regis Progre, and now he lost to Ryan Garcia. I still feel like Devin Haney can come back from this. I still feel like he has a lot of talent, but the reality is this. He had everything going for him in this fight, and Ryan Garcia overcame all of the odds, all of the problems that he inflicted on himself, and he put in a tremendous, tremendous performance. Now, I hope Ryan Garcia can take away from this that he has the potential to go on and really have a stellar career if he can sort himself out outside of the ring. I hope Ryan Garcia doesn't allow the takeaway from this fight to be that he can drink and do whatever else he's been doing and it won't have any effect because eventually it will. But Ryan Garcia clearly has a tremendous amount of talent and I believe if he can sort himself out on the basis of this performance, he can be a problem for a lot of boxers out there and I think we could be in for some very exciting fights. So I hold my hands up once again and say I got this prediction very wrong. I believed that Ryan Garcia had talent. I made a video about it a few weeks before the fight where I said Ryan Garcia could potentially cause Devin Haney problems, but where I thought he would lose was the fact that his preparations were compromised by his unprofessionalism outside of the ring. I got it wrong. A lot of you guys got it wrong. Some of you guys called it correctly, and those of you who pointed out in the comments that you thought Ryan Garcia was always going to win this fight, give yourselves a pat on the back. You deserve it, but the reality is this. Ryan Garcia can go on now if he can keep himself on the straight and narrow to have a tremendously successful career, whereas Devin Haney needs to go back to the drawing board. I don't think he should even be entertaining the rematch because I think it's a very bad stylistic matchup. Again, when he had all of that stuff in his favor, commentary, referees, officials, allowing him to get away with holding, scoring the fight in his favor when it shouldn't have been, and he still lost? Mm. Maybe it's time to move on and look for another opponent. But let me know, guys, in the comments, what do you guys think? Should Devin Haney try and run this one back with Ryan Garcia? Should Devin Haney look for the rematch? Or should he move on and try and sort something out with an opponent who won't expose his weaknesses and won't dominate him with speed, power, and movement the way Ryan Garcia did? Let me know, guys, in the comments, what do you think? Thank you, as always, for watching, and I will catch you guys in the next video.